Welcome to the Two Guys in a Cooler channel. My name's Eric, and today we're gonna to be calibrating our humidity controller and our temperature controller that we use inside of our chamber. So if you have cigars, if you're into making wine or cheese, if you're into mushrooms, in my case, charcuterie, you're already gonna have one of these controls and you definitely need to calibrate it from time to time. The first thing we're gonna calibrate is the humidity control. And all we're gonna do is in a lid. Now, depending on the size container you're working with, you could use a bottle cap, or in this case, I'm using a relatively large lid, and I'm putting salt that's free of any additives inside of it. Next, I wanna add a little bit of water. I don't wanna dissolve the salt. What I'm looking for is the look of wet sand. Now, I put way too much water in there, and as you can see, it looks like there's freestanding water on top of that salt. So I'm gonna add a little bit more salt until I get that consistency that I'm looking for. And that's a salt to water ratio that doesn't allow for any freestanding water when the salt settles. And this right here looks just about perfect. Now that our salt is prepared, we wanna get a jar that's big enough to put that lid in. And in this case, I'm using a one gallon pickle jar, not that big a deal. The lid to that pickle jar, I drilled a hole in. And the reason I drilled a hole in is because I'm gonna put my controllers right into that hole. So now I'm just gonna slide that salt solution right into that jar, turn it upright, and then close the lid. Having this ratio of salt to water is gonna provide a 75% relative humidity environment inside that jar, which is gonna give us the opportunity to calibrate our equipment. I try to calibrate my equipment roughly once every six months, and so today we're gonna to do all of my humidity controllers, all of my temperature controllers, and we'll show you how, uh, how we go about doing all that stuff. Right here, we're just gonna go ahead and slide that Inkbird controller right into that hole, and I'm gonna put it about three inches above that salt solution. I have an Auber control as well, uh, that's a little more accurate, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna thread it backwards because that probe wouldn't fit into the hole. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and seal that hole off with some packing tape. So you just wanna make sure that you tape it down really good so that no hu outside humidity gets into this chamber. You wanna basically lock it down. At this point, all we do is we plug in our controllers and we wait. Right now, my controllers are reading 82 relative humidity and 97 relative humidity. And unlike temperature controllers, humidity controllers take a little bit longer to reach their target goal. So we wanna let them sit for anywhere between eight hours to 12 hours. And so this is a little time lapse. All right, now that 12 hours has passed, this is what we're looking at. And we're gonna go ahead and calibrate. Those should read 75% humidity. And so the reason I like the Auber so much is because I can control everything from my smartphone, which is really great. So I just go to the app, click on the settings, and there's a offset, humidity offset, option right there. And that allows me to, you know, move it up or down. And so depending on what my values are and how much I need to move it, I just go ahead and either input a negative number or a positive number. And there you go. So now that's set to 75% humidity, which is what the humidity is inside that jar. So let's go ahead and look at the Inkbird. The Inkbird isn't complicated either. You press and hold the set button for a couple of seconds, three seconds, I believe, and then you just scroll through the menus until you get to the CA option, which means calibrate. There you go. And then right here, you move it up or down depending on how uh, you wanna adjust your humidity. In this case, I needed to move it down just a tiny bit. And once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and be back in business. You press and hold that set button for a couple seconds more, and now you go. So now that one's also set for 75% relative humidity. Both of these controllers are now calibrated. Now we can go ahead and put it back in the chamber. To calibrate the temperature controller, what we wanna do is we wanna make an ice water bath. Basically, 75% ice, 25% water, and then we're gonna wait 10 minutes. And this should bring the temperature down to 32 degrees. What I generally like to do is take my thermopin and stick it inside that ice water because it's incredibly accurate, just as a double check. Now, these temperature probes are generally not supposed to be submerged in water because they read the air temperature inside your chamber. So what I do is I go ahead and wrap it in a little plastic bag and that'll protect that probe from any water. I leave it in there for about four minutes and then I can go ahead and calibrate it. But as you can see, my thermopin is at 32 degrees. My ink bird is at 32.4, and I'm okay with that. If you do need to calibrate it, hold that set button for three seconds, scroll through the menu options until you get to the CA option, which is the calibrate option, and then you can go ahead and adjust up or down depending on where you want your actual temperature to be. In this case, I'm gonna leave it exactly where it's at, and go ahead and set it back and put it back in my chamber. Accurate temperature and humidity is the last most critical step when it comes to dry curing anything. Basically, all your hard work that you put into the beginning of the process 
can quickly become undone if your temperature or your humidity is off by too much. So having accurate controllers and accurate probes are absolutely critical. And I wanna show you this right here because it's funny, as I was making this video, I received this temperature and humidity controller from Thermalworks. If you're not familiar with Thermalworks, check out the link in the description box below. All I did was I stuck that pin inside a Ziploc bag with that same salt solution and it read 75%. So Thermalworks is known for its accuracy and this particular pin is an affordable insurance policy that you can hang in your chamber that gives you an accurate humidity and accurate temperature reading all the time. If you have any questions on how to calibrate your humidity or temperature control, leave them in the comment section below. And like I said earlier, I do this normally about once every six months and that keeps everything in line. If you like this video, give it a great big thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. We post new videos every week on all kinds of fresh content. We really like charcuterie, so you're gonna get a lot of that. I'm gonna give you a little heads up. We've got some really cool projects on the horizon that we're ready to upload for you to enjoy. Thanks a lot. Hope you stick around for that and we'll see you in the next video.